A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So we have a little bit of a problem over here. Um, there is a nemesis on me right there. And this bow has finally seen the last of its days. I just had to fight a radiated soldier to the death inside because the inside also respawns zombies. But that over there, that's the nemesis zombie that we first fought at the base. It's huge. There's no way to kill it at the moment, unfortunately. Let me just do this. Modify. Do this. I want to do this and this. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, hello. I could be glad she missed. I need to make sure that nemesis zombie doesn't hear or see us right now. Whispers usually show up in wandering hordes, right? Does that mean she... Crap, that dude is dangerous. Look how tall he is as well. It's insane. And also, there's no way we're killing it as well, because it has way too much HP. For us to get close enough to actually see its HP as well, it's going to be very, very dangerous. 3,387 HP, and it heals, I think. So what I need to do is actually go back to the base and drop some stuff. I need to also see if I can't make more arrows because we are in desperate dire need of arrows right now. I want to show you guys what I've done on the inside first, if I can get in there. Uh, I wonder if I should just go back to the base and I'll show you guys in the morning. It's going to be way too dangerous for him right now. I need him to turn around so I can run to my bike and go. Oh crap, he's killing me with his heat. Get away from my bike, please. It's like he's subconsciously or unconsciously... Yeah, subconsciously, following me over here. They have insane reach as well. That's what I'm trying to be careful of right now. It's almost four and then he's going to despawn. And this moment he's despawned, we'll be safe. Okay, they're about to die because it's almost four. There you go. Damn. They didn't drop any bags, right? Look how tall this thing is. I'm still overheated from him. Wait. Yeah, his, his corpse is still doing that to me. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I did on the inside over here. What's, it's barely anything. I looted these, I looted all the way around over there, went over there. I'm using my crowbar as well to wrench like office chairs and stuff. I didn't get any of the seeds and things over here, but I cleared out all of this at the back. Cleared out these over here. And then I started clearing over here. That's all I was able to do during the whole night. Um, I was basically crouched. No, no, no. I, I was crouched moving, but I was looting standing up, so it's not even an excuse. Here's something somewhere. Is that a wandering ward right now? Great, that's all we need, our wandering horde. Um, yeah, I'll need to come back for this place. All these shelves we still have to loot. I want to go for the top floor first, but I think let's just take a few things with us back to the base. We'll see if I can just really burn some of the wandering horde on the outside, if I can. If not, I just want to lure them away from this place, because they're going to do some damage over here. Okay, so what we need to take with uh, 762... Some weapons, I need to repair that. Food. Definitely that. I need to make sure we take a lot of stuff with us so we can actually make more arrows with as well. Crowbar we don't need, these we don't need, that we don't really need. Hello zombie, I see you. Twine we definitely need because we're out of twine on the other side. I'll put that in the recycling station. Cured meat. Okay, anything else over here that's really important that I can take with? Not that much. Okay. I'm going to leave some of the food and drink over here because I want to be able to use it when I really, really am low. Uh, I want to see where that wandering ward is, though. I might be able to just do this. If I can stealth a few zombies, I should. But also, yeah, uh, during night time, like I said, a lot of those zombies respawned inside. I had to deal with a radiated soldier that spawned on top of the shelves. I'm hoping doing this doesn't destroy the loot inside. Okay, if I can, I should probably go put out that fire after. Any corpses of here that I really need right now. It seems this was definitely a wandering horde. I wonder if anything got through. 
Come on, die. Die, I tell you, die. But well, yeah, if we can just quickly make ourselves a ton more arrows at the base, that's really going to help us right now. I'm better with a bow than I am with a bow and arrow. If this was a wandering horde, we have to be careful of any more ferals and stuff. If I can also repair the spear or just take the backup spear we have at the base, that will really help us right now. Unfortunately, the one we have on us, we can't repair. Come on, headshot. Boom. I can't see any more zombies over here, so it seems like we're just a very small wandering horde. Or they pass that way around, or they actually manage to break through over here. There's still so much to this place to loot, guys. It's insane. But I think let's just go back to the base. I actually got you guys back a little bit sooner than I wanted to. But I, I needed to show you guys, uh, yeah, the, the utter chaos over here. When I saw the nemesis on me, I was like, yeah, I have to get you guys back. It's actually a bad though. We've only seen like one or two nemesis zombies. The red one and this one. And there are so many more. There's ones that are as like as tall as this pole over here. Insanely, insanely dangerous. Okay, can I kill you quickly? Thank you. Okie dokie. Uh, the game was just paused and I didn't even realize it. Damn it. I made a ton of arrows and I'm, I'm busy making more arrow shafts and more arrows at the base as like backup. Um, I've been talking to myself over here. <laughs> Basically, I had to pause the uh, the game, the recording, and um, yeah, the game and the recording. I had to pause because the dogs were going apeshit in the background. Um, it seems there was a delivery uh, man, and uh, yeah, for some reason the dogs just go crazy when they hear someone in the front. It's so bad. It's basically the only times I can't record or can't continue recording is when the dogs are barking or when the vacuum cleaner is on. The frequency and the, the amount that they bark, it, just, it picks up on the recording, unfortunately. Mostly when I'm talking, like when I'm busy talking, you can hear like a weird bad noise in the background. And that's just the distortion of the dogs uh, barking. But yeah, because of that, I paused and unpaused, unpaused the game, but I, I forgot to unpause the recording as well. Drink. Uh, we do have drinks in the boxes over here. Probably see if I can't dump a ton of stuff together over here now. So we do this. We do this, do this, dump all of these here, and then the same with this, grab, see what can stack, that couldn't stack earlier. Sometimes I'm just human, so it's easy enough to uh, make a mistake, we accidentally drop something in the same, uh, in different containers, but the same thing. Ooh, empty jars. Damn, we had a ton of empty jars over here. To craft water, it's, it says for this quest, craft. So it's not gathered like the red meat. You have to go and sit. It takes seven minutes to get this done. Seven minutes. So basically what I'm going to have to do is I have to see if I can't spec into this over here and get Master Chef up. Uh, or up, I mean. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to clear the top floor. Uh, there's still offices and stuff and the very roof. And the, we'll, we'll do that later. But now we're just going to do the top floor. If we can, we want to do the warehouse at the back. And then we have to go back to the base. Because I have to sit for seven minutes and look at a fire while that stuff crafts. See, there's a book section over there. There's possible propane tanks over here. Damn. Basically, you know these series the big YouTubers do of surviving in like the Cracker Book or the Dishong Tower, seeing how long you can survive? This POI, you'll be able to survive. There's no way you, uh, you live in this POI and you don't survive because it has everything. It literally has everything you might need. Food, drink... Resources, propane tanks. I actually want to see if I can't do a series like that. It might be interesting to try to do something like that. I want to loot the books, but I want to make sure all the threats are gone. I can tell you this much though. I was hiding on top of the shells uh, for away from that soldier. And he was clever enough to run up over here and then jump over the other uh, side and go for me. So just because you're on the shelves doesn't mean you're safe. You have to be so incredibly careful. I need to get those headshots in. That's the only way to kill these properly. Nice. The fact that I can one-shot radiators is awesome. But I think it's also this uh, bow and string, the string mod that I have on my bow. 
Obviously, it has to be a headshot, not like a shoulder, a shoulder check that I just did. But if we can actually get that headshot, especially from a distance, you get like a massive bonus multiplier. Okay, so let's see which books we can actually find over here quickly. Okay, so scrap that one. That's bows. That's shotguns. Was that two... When you read those, is that two skills in that one or not? Should probably pay more attention. Because I think then we might be 75 now with the bows. Bows. 76. I'm so close to unlocking the compound crossbow. Okay, we're going to do this section first over here. There's a, uh, there's a few boxes and stuff there. This is actually where TBF Gaming is living. Zombie female, feral thug, feral bow. Oh wow, Bo just shifted a bit. He didn't even wake up just now. Damn. Okay, so there's going to be some workers over here. At least there's supposed to be quite a few construction workers and stuff over here, unless I'm lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, TBF knew this place before he uh, found it. So when he found it, he was like, oh yeah, we lived there last time and stuff. This is the first time I'm ever seeing this POI. I mean, like, ever playing on my own. Obviously, I saw him um, uh, take this on, but I didn't see, like, all the back rooms and stuff like that. I didn't want to spoil it for myself. See on the bottom right over there, by the shelf? There's a, a dude over there. We've already cleared out this whole POI, but there's still more zombies. So I think definitely the, the max spawn has been reached. So even though we cleared the whole place out, we didn't clear all the zombies of this place. That, or it perhaps could just be that if you clear out, look at all the hidden stashes. If you clear out this place, um, the zombies at the back might shift the position to here. So even though this floor was completely 100% cleared, because the zombies at the back are still there and you didn't clear them, they are on the move. It's weird though, there's supposed to be workers and stuff over here. I'm moving super slowly just in case there's a side to spawn in, but it seems there's nothing here. Okay, so now I can just quickly loot this. I also want to loot the uh, section underneath us quickly while we're this side. And I think the factory with all the 50 storages and stuff is over there behind that wall. The fact that all of these boxes over here seem to be hidden stashes, that's amazing. It's a shame our lucky looter isn't all the way maxed out though. And why do I keep getting 556 ammo? I need um 7.62 ammo. As far as I can see, it I might be wrong. It seems like the lever action rifle is the only one that uses a 7.62. If there is an automatic weapon, awesome. If not, oh, this is going to be difficult. Damn. <laughs> it was sent flying just now. Stand up. <laughs> Trying to not wake up anything else that might be back there right now. Oof. Hello. Tourist, you are one deaf dude. Okay, there might be some stuff at the back over there. The cooking pot we don't need. But now I'm only going to loot stuff that I really, really need. See, there's even a table saw here. The early game when you need to make a table saw, there's even that here. It's un unfair. It seems the corpses over here are actually protecting her. So even though I was dead on with the shots, it keeps hitting over here. We might be able to get some of those arrows back, but nope, not a single one. Okay, so this section's done. There's a ton of cooking pots. There's a ton of uh, table saws. Probably just see if I can loot these over here. Cash registers, definitely. Thank you. Oh, 200 coin. Not bad at all. I'm going to first continue the top before we keep on going over here. Like I said, there's a factory at the back. And with 50 plus boxes, it's going to be insanely amazing. I think you can get out over here as well, like to the back where we had the Wandering Horde. Let's make sure I get that headshot in, especially with bikers. Nice, 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 nice. I'm so happy to be able to actually do stealth like this. It saves us so much time and effort just stealthing the zombies. It's awesome how they don't even hear me draw back my uh, my drawstring. 
I'm able to just pull it back, shoot them, and then voila, you guys are dead. Dead, dead. Okay, so now we need space. Food. After looting uh, a whole night, I was just able to get that little section of it, and then we have all that left. It's going to take us days clearing this out. Although I am considering moving here. I want to show you guys exactly where I want to live or possibly make a base. And then we're going to put it to a vote. Do you guys think I should move here or not? Because there's two locations over here that we could actually take over as a base. It might work really well. Oh, crap. I'm so glad you were not feral. If he was feral just now, we might have had a little bit of a problem. Okay, yeah, we have to go drop some stuff outside quickly. See, the Wandering Horde wanted to break through there earlier. I have to basically go and lock these in place because I keep accidentally dumping them. Food and drink doing okay-ish. There you go, I'll just drink that, and I can drink one more. Oh. Okay, so yeah, um, I'd actually like to continue looting where we were. I think let's just first loot the pop and pulls, and then I have to con completely go and compl uh, complete, complete, clear. I need to go and clear the top floor. <laughs> I don't know why I got tongue-tied that badly just now. Damn. I think for now, the most important part is trying to kill all the zombies, because they just keep respawning over here. If we can kill all the zombies and then just every now and then come back. Sledgehammers. Just every now and then come back and loot a little bit more of the place. Like the back rooms over here have now been mostly looted except some of the kitchen pots. But uh, that's fine. All I really still want to loot is this section over here. And obviously upstairs in the back rooms and the, the warehouse and everything. But I, I, I'm done with the other spare rooms I think. Like over there the spare rooms over here we're done. But now we just have to clear the top, loot the top, loot the bottom and then loot the warehouse. And then also the roof. I thought if you use the pickaxe, it breaks. If you use the wrench, um, no, if you use the, the crowbar, you pick it up, and if you use the wrench, you get the propane tank. But I have three propane tanks right here right now. You can definitely make a series surviving this place easily. Because this place literally has everything you might need in a POI. A bite. The nice thing is, as long as I'm a little bit far away from the zombies, I'm even with my lights on, I can actually do some serious damage. Look how close I was able to get to this tourist just now, and he didn't even realize it was there. I mean, I was crouched running and stuff, but still, damn. Doesn't seem like there's any zombies on this side. There's a tourist over there. Oh! The fact that I was able to shoot over his belly, the hitboxes in this game has definitely improved. In the past, if he shot like that, it would have gotten stuck in his belly because the hitbox is just too big. Nice, nice, nice. There's almost no drop to this thing at all because of the... ...string uh, mod. Oh, you lost your head. You lost your head, dude. Okay, there's also a back section over here. I can see there's zombies in there as well. I wonder if I'm... No, I was about to say, I wonder if I can actually get them from the top. It doesn't seem like it's possible. See, some there's no sleepers. Like, I'm, I'm, by sleepers, I mean, like, who's actually sleeping. These guys over here are sleepers, but they're standing upright, so it's easy to spot them. It's insane how much you can get done now. It seems it's just her in there. Okay, the clothes, I don't, I'm not interested in right now. I just want to make sure I get my arrows back, more or less. Thank you, thank you. And then we have to go to this back room over here. That's locked. There's probably a different way to go about this place, but I mean, if I can clear it this way, why not? I'm just hoping there's nothing stuck in the wall somewhere. That might be a problem. I think we're supposed, since this is also via blocked off, I think you're supposed to go and break those down. Wait, there's nothing in this room. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not going to complain. If there's no zombies, there's no zombies. It gives me a chance to quickly loot all of this stuff. Okay, 
It's also insane how many of these barricades we've so far just received from this one place. And we haven't even gotten to like the meat of the place. Okay, these rooms over here are quite pleasant. <laughs> okay, so I think for now, let's just loot this. Looting these rooms right now is definitely going to call or wake up all the zombies in the next room. So I should probably clear out the rooms first and then loot them. The thing is, we don't want to get stuck in a small room like this. Salvage tools, yes! We don't want to get stuck in a small room like this. With um, like a ton of ferals or radiators and stuff. That's just going to be really, really bad for us. Although it sounds like everything's downstairs. There's no zombies up here. I say and all of a sudden get swamped from the side. Yeah, there's no zombies up here. Nice. So all I have to do is make sure that I quickly get all of this stuff. Uh, we're going to go into these safes over here as well. Oh, please don't let me... Please don't tell me I'm going to lose all my lockpicks right now. Because the lockpicking so far has really just utterly sucked. Like, it's horrendous. I'm also going to have to quickly go drop, uh, drop stuff off down below before I can keep continuing over here. Because we are way too encumbered right now. Okay. No lockpicks broken. No lockpicks broken. Ten lockpicks broken. So it seems it just depends on your luck. <laughs> Sometimes you have really, really horrendous luck like I just had with that one. And other times it's it's okay. It's not too bad. Ooh, I need to go drop stuff off before I continue over here. That leads to the roof over there. So I, uh, the fact that I have to run all the way back down now just to be able to drop some stuff off. Just to make enough space for these. If this was a wandering horde, there might be a ton of ferals somewhere. Now, I really don't feel like fighting ferals right now. Hello. Bye-bye. Oh, I snapped a neck with that one. Okay, so let's see what can and can't stack. Once again, before we leave when we're done over here, we have to make sure that we go and just grab everything we might need later. Let's just really go back to the back rooms over there. And then also, I want to see if we can't do the factory. It's already seven, though. Since we know those are clean and clear, let's go for the backside first. Is it this one? Yes, look at all those boxes. See, we could face the horde right there in the corner. Or we could face the horde right above us over here. These blocks are all concrete. So, uh, vote. Do you think we should stay at the prison or should we move to this massive place? The nice thing about actually facing the horde over here is um, we just have to put a little bit of a roof in for the vultures. And other than that, the zombies have to pass through the building. We have a roof protecting us. I think everything over here is basically concrete too. Okay, let's see. Look at all these boxes. I'm actually more happy about the barricades. It's five fuel per barricade in these boxes. Although, yeah, there's so many zombies just sneakily hiding in between these. Makes it a little a bit dangerous. Oh. Couldn't get his headshot in. Whoop, whoops, whoops. Hello, hello. I thought I saw something behind me for a second there. Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. I'm actually feeling like using a spear or using a gun right now. The pistol. You feral. Bloody hell. Why did you have to be feral? See, if I use the pistol, I could easily kill them, but I'm going to pull in the attention of everything outside. Stand up. Don't do that. I hate it when they do that. Where am I hearing that sleeping sound? Are they on the outside? Are they on top? I hear a zombie breathing like it's sleeping, but I can't see where the zombie is. And it sounds super close by. Okay, we have to make sure we grab all of the arrows of here too. Another feral. Oh, come on, man. What's my luck right now? I'd rather face a feral than a radiator though, so this is okay. 
As long as I'm done by night time, we should be good to go. It's irradiated. Just gonna take care of one of them at a time. Stand up. I'd be careful of stuff behind me. I keep hearing footsteps behind me, but it's just probably these two shuffling around. If you can do fast enough head damage, you can even take down a radiator dude like this. But if you start missing your shots, that's when it's a little bit bad for you. <laughs> oh, you fine. Damn. How many arrows did you have inside you just now, dude? Oh, I don't want to open that up. We'll use our crowbar when we want to open up a ton of stuff right now. Okay. I think that's it for the zombies. Most of them have been taken care of. There might be one or two more in between these boxes of here, I think. Or they're going to be at the back. Definitely hear more sleeping, but it sounds like it's coming from over here. Oopsie, hello. They literally just spawned in. This is why I prefer this weapon. If this was a crossbow, the crossbow reloads too slow. Although the compound crossbow might be really good. Okay, I think there's gonna be a ton of zombies behind these doors. So, where are my molotovs? That's all iron though. I thought this was all concrete or something. Just in case there's like scores and scores and scores of zombies in there. I think it's a special zombie outside trying to break in right now, like the blue face zombies. Okay, I think that's it. Now we just have to go and loot this place. I think there's definitely going to be zombies still upstairs, so I have to be careful of that. Basically, I have to climb, jump over, jump over, and go clear the roof out. And then I'll need to go and loot all the stuff over here, but I don't think we're going to have enough space. I'm going to have to once again go drop stuff off. Even these zombies, they might actually only spawn in once we're up here. So even though I think we've just cleared everything out, there's still some zombies left. But basically, I'd face the horde up here. I'd stand here, make a horde base and everything, and I'd just stand over here. I think whatever I'm hearing right now is zombies on the roof. Because I don't see any zombies over here. Nope. Not true, Jean. Not true. Okay, so yeah, I think I think we've gotten most of like the special back rooms and stuff. Um, basically, what we still have to do now is the roof. And also around the building on the sides and stuff, there's like a lot of ATMs and stuff like that. We still also have to go and loot. Okay, let's see. I'm really hoping we can find something really great over here. Clothing we don't need right now. I'm only going to go for these boxes over here, but first things first, we have to rip these off. Hidden stash box. Nah. We should probably just scrap that as we go as well. It's jammed. I still hear sleeping, but like I said, I think it's upstairs. It's in the roof. Nice. And since I don't have to break these open, I don't have to worry about swinging the axe at an angle. I can just open it up this way. Imagine we can actually get so lucky and actually get like the socket wrench or something right now. But I think you can't at a certain game stage get stuff. You have to be a certain game, a game stage to unlock certain things in the game, I think. So unfortunately, I don't think that is going to be possible. After I clear this section of here, I also need to go and clear the top back rooms, the offices that we cleared first, uh, where there were no zombies. I have to go clear that section as well. It seems these jammed ones, I don't know if they're supposed to have stuff in, but usually jammed boxes, even if you break them open, are empty. So I don't know if it's going to be worth actually breaking into these. Now, I already broke into one that was completely empty. But it might have just been that one, though. Oh, there's still a zombie over here. I thought I heard something. 
And feral, 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 feral. You have to be careful now. Now that it's nighttime, there might be more zombies spawning in. Like I said, the previous night when I was busy, all of a sudden I got so many more zombies and stuff. So just because you've cleared a place out, especially a place this big, don't think you're safe. You might actually have a lot of nighttime zombies spawning in as well. Okay, I got a pistol, got a few books. Let's eat that. It's completely filled up. Coffee we'll take as well, just in case. We've got a pistol just now. It would be cool if we can actually also loot a compound crossbow. Especially since we still need one. Why are you guys still alive? I thought I cleared the whole place out, but it seems they were hiding in the corners. Although, like I said, night it's nighttime, so zombies might have just spawned in just because. I'm definitely going to have to go drop some stuff off to continue looting over here because there's still so many boxes to do and my inventory is basically full. I have to waste food by just eating random stuff to make sure we have enough space for everything else. Okay, so I even got the robotic drone lamp over here. Um, I'm hoping that means we can soon get a robotic drone as well because it will help us with our looting if we can actually just drop stuff in there as well. We're almost done on this side. Just a shame way over here. Oh, I should not be crouching right now. For those of you who don't know, basically, if you're crouching, that took four seconds if you stand up. It's also about five seconds. It's supposed to loot slower when you're crouched. Because uh, you're making less noise. So you're, you're being more cautious making less noise than the zombies can't hear as, as well. But that just now is basically the same speed, to me at least. I think this is basically the last box over here. Yep. I opened the doors over here. I didn't even realize these doors over here. Uh, uh, were they locked or something earlier? Repair tools. Were these doors locked? I can't even remember there the, the, the being doors over here. I broke through this wooden door over here. Just to find out it wasn't really necessary. There's still zombies on the outside. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. Now we can finally kill bosses. You know how long I've been waiting for another one? We had one, but it broke because I let it accidentally break. Oh, yes. Damn, that's going to help a lot. I'm just going to loot these four things over here. And I want to wrench this as we go. Don't have enough space. Scrap, scrap, scrap. That is sledgehammers. Electrical parts. Basically making sure we're grabbing everything that we might need extra over here. I need to be careful though, if I get too close to the windows and stuff and the zombies from downstairs hear me, they might be clever enough to know, okay, I'm supposed to go up the escalator and try and get the dude. So far, they've been too dumb to realize they can actually make it up here, and th since this is all empty over here, we're safe to loot what we want. Although, if the zombies on the roof somehow wake up, we might have a problem. There's still that one door at the bottom of the, uh, the hallway over here that leads to the roof. And yeah, the zombies from the roof might actually decide, let's just use that room to get down over here. I can definitely hear noise over here like something's trying to break through, so I need to be careful. But I don't know if they're coming from the roof, or if they're downstairs, I have no idea. Okay, let's keep out sign to the left, that's where we're supposed to go to the roof section. That's spears, that's automatics. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to leave that room for now. We've already looted everything up here. I'm going to go back to the base. I need to make that water. It says uh, craft 10 water. So first things first, we're going to go through the containers, see what we need. I need to make sure we at least take the anti-rad mod with us. And then, yeah, if we're going to live here, if you guys vote that we should live here, then I can easily just come and move the little stuff we have at the base here. Moving all this stuff there is going to take way too long. 
But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.